Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. It is 617. Welcome back to Good Day Dakota. We've got some showers and even some small thunderstorms on the radar this morning. The thunderstorms are mostly confined to northern North Dakota, kind of heading into the Minot area right now through Mohall and Plaza. Uh, and even a small thunderstorm heading towards Garrison. Nothing severe. Now, mostly rain in the south here moving out of New England and through Dickinson this morning and Hedinger. I'm just not seeing the instability here to see some thunderstorms this morning, but temperatures are in the 50s for a lot of us, even sitting at about 61 in Beach, 55 in Watford City, 54 in Rugby and Harvey, and winds are out of the east and northeast around, uh, say, 5 to 15 miles per hour. This afternoon, this is what the winds could look like by the middle of the afternoon, uh, still an easterly and northerly wind around 5 to 15. So highs today are not going to be as hot as they were yesterday. We just can't sustain that heat especially when you change the air mass here like we are with low pressure bringing in that rain and a little more cloud cover, especially along the north here. You can see what that rain will do to some of the more crucial daytime heating hours. We're not going to warm up as much, say, in Minot as we will in Bismarck today. Uh, a lot of upper 70s to around 80 for the south. So here's how that rain's going to uh, kind of act through the rest of the morning. Most of this kind of lingering around much of northern North Dakota. This seems to be the area where we could see a, a, a light rain accumulation. Nothing heavy at this point. We head into Thursday, increasing the clouds through the day, and then a chance for some rain late Thursday night into Friday morning. This rain will not be significant. Uh, still looking at this kind of exiting through Friday morning. And then temperatures on Friday do look to uh, to rebound as well. So we're cooling off today. We'll warm up for Thursday and Friday. Not as, not as hot as yesterday, though. But here is your rain potential. Now, the models have been kind of bullish on how much rain you could see. But I wouldn't be surprised to see a few more areas up towards the north here seeing uh, closer to around a quarter of an inch or so. Certainly, uh, this model showing a light accumulation and even Bismarck could possibly see a trace this morning but temperatures this, uh, for tomorrow rather are going to warm up so today 60s and 70s tomorrow 70s and 80s the west will be the hottest tomorrow and because we'll be hot and dry especially in Montana we've got a fire weather watch for most of Thursday until about midnight Thursday night so that tells you how hot we're going to get in the west here's your three-day forecast in Dickinson we've got some mid 80s on Thursday to the low 70s on Friday so uh, mostly keeping it rather seasonable here as we round out the work week. Here's your Williston outlook as well. And we cool heading into the weekend. Lots of 60s. And we're going to be windy, it looks like, over the weekend as well, especially heading into the beginning of next week. I certainly see Monday as being a windy day with chances for some rain at this point. But here's your Bismarck seven-day outlook. We do have an 80 there for tomorrow, but a lot of 70s for Friday and Saturday with 60s for the next week. And I just don't see any major spikes into the next work week, guys, beyond the seven day. I think we'll keep it mostly pretty seasonable and mostly in the 60s. Yeah, those concerns over fire should drop as the temps uh, start to fall down a bit. Certainly, you know, as we get kind of deeper and deeper into the year, we get cooler. It doesn't give us those yeah. fire weather concerns as much. All, All right. right. Sounds good. Thanks, Amber. Keep it with us here on Good Day Dakota. Still to come.